Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Humble Wednesday, a Wednesday. Just a quick update, what's been going on for the last few weeks. Last week, didn't do it out last week, went away for a week. Not very good, weather was rubbish when it rained every day. And where we went, when it went in static on the east coast, not good at all. But that's for another time. Previous video, I think, I was doing the one and they had, I just kicked the stout. The one still in the fermenter. That was dropped down to 996, I think. Did a, a taste of it. It's pear one. And then, um, they want it with apple wine. Get it right, Steve? Apple wine. And I put some ghost brews in. It's quite bland, actually. There's, there's no. You could taste a little bit of apple. That's what it, it may improve with age. I'm not too sure. But I don't know if I'm gonna um I might if, if it if I bottle it, I'm looking at uh, maybe twenty bottles. So we're getting them saved up from brother, he saved me up off his missus. So what I think I'm gonna do is bottle it all up, leave it six months, then I'm going to um probably probably freeze distill some of it. So I've seen a few people do it in the past, many, many months ago. So try and distill it that way. I don't know if I can do it straight from from, from the fermenter and then um, straight up to a little bottle. But I think I'm about to age it a little bit, get a bit of age on it, and then um, freeze distill it. And see what comes up like that. Might try a few bottles. I've got plenty, plenty of bottles down there. I should really start drinking it, but I don't. I think I might, I might do a couple of bottles down there, taste what one bottle is like, then freeze distill it and see what it's like for that. But I don't know, we'll drink it. Another thing just to add into the shed, but may last a bit longer if I freeze distill it. So that's the wine, so that's still in the fridge. The stout is going down nicely. I think that's about one of the best stouts I've done. It's out of the barbell. Uh, I use more chocolate malt more roasted barley only to use the pack up what I had and I used the lager yeast I brewed another stout this weekend just gone if I can show you it in there in the SS brew tech bucket talk about that one in a minute Okay, so I've um, brewed another stout at weekend with some of these existing grains that he had. I think the last choc last one I did a 200 grams of chocolate. Measured out of chocolate I've got now, I've got 360 grams. So I split it in half and we'll do another batch. So the grit, the pale malt was the same, roasted barley was the same, 500 grams, 180 grams of chocolate malt, flake barley put in 500 grams. And but I used the SO5 this time yeast. Oh, and also I changed the ops because I ran out the other op. Last one with East Kent Gordons. This time I've done fuggles, so it's not going to be the same. Should have a little flavour, but fingers crossed that one will be all right as well. So I'll have two kegs of stout. That leaves me one spare keg left down there, which is. see in there it looks red that one and that's that's the rubbish on the bottom there that's the supposed to be raspberry wheat beer it was still bubbling away when I went away so it's been it been in the keg four weeks now I think five weeks maybe when I come back home put the raspberries in what I did with raspberries was throw them out there was enough juice in the raspberries to put into a pan, boil the pan up, just basically to sterilise it, boiled it for about five minutes, all turned to mush, cooled it down, stuck that into the fermenter, then wrapped the wheat beer on top of it, thinking that ah, it'd be red. Like what? Well, not red at all. Might have a slight tinge. No. So we'll see what that's like. I only wanted to leave the raspberries in for a couple of days. And it's been in 
five days. I ain't got no bloody sterilising stuff to bloody sterilise any more buckets. Well, I need some water. So I'll just go pop to Tesco's tomorrow and get some more water. So I was hoping that's going to be a red raspberry wheat beer. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. It tasted like one of the last wheat beers I tasted. Distinctive taste, but not so sure what it was. That was not an horrible taste. But I used lots of different malts. I used Munich malt in it, some wheat malt in it, rye malt in it, pill malt in it. So it wasn't a full blown on wheat beer, but a hybrid. So as long as it tastes all right. So hopefully keg that this week. I don't. I might keg the stout. I don't think that'll need kegging. But I'm running well, I'm running out of fermenters. Oh yeah, I've got ferment on here. I've been running out of kegs if I'm making any more. So that's obviously the, the stout will go in a keg, the raspberry beet beer will go in a keg. The two beers I've got left in here, which are quite low, which are the Jim Payne's English IPA and the B&H PLL. They should be on the last legs. So I think next week when I'm not on call, get them drank, get them kegs cleaned, then I can make another two brews. Because at the moment, once these two beers are kegged, that's it, can't make any more beers. Got no more space unless to buy some bottles and bottle them all up. Talk about bottles. I had some bottles in my fridge, some pet bottles from some of the kegs I've used up last, and some of well, I bought the old bottle from the keg. Bottle from the bottle from the keg and a bottle from the fermenter. Bottle three, six, seven, ten bottles. To write on the buddy bottle what there was. So I'm looking at them, they all look the same, and I know they're not the same. So I'm gonna have to look from my books to see what, what I've put, what I've had in a keg. I should have, should have bottled, should have labeled, labeled them up, but I didn't. Never mind, eh? So, yeah, so I think that's it, folks. Purchases ain't done any more purchases yet. Apart from that, I've got the did the ink bed the other day. I think next purchase is going to be the tilt. So I, I, I want to I want to get a tilt because it's the same all right. So I could just sit on my ass in the living room and watch the watch the temperature go up and down. Also, I think on the new grandfather app, you can monitor it from there as well. I think I ain't looked into it properly, but I've just seen it on there tilt. Watch the fermentation, so I don't know if that can be linked with that. I don't know. We will see. I think well, tilt's Bluetooth and the connect is Wi Fi, so I don't know how it's going to work. If it will work, we will see. If it is, I'll share it on here. So it wasn't supposed to be short and sweet, eight and a half minutes, gets you too long. So that's it, folks. So thanks very much for watching and subscribing, and I love you all. Cheers.